Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. It is the Alex Jones Show. Alex is on assignment out in Dallas. He may be calling in later in the program. I am Jason Burmis sitting in. And now we go to our latest guest, Gary Lockman, who's actually a musician turned writer. He is one of the founding members of Blondie, one of the guitar players there. His latest book is Politics and the Occult, The Right, the Left, and the Radically Unseen. How are you today, Gary? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So why do you choose this subject matter? Why do you start going into not only the occult, but politics and how they intertwine? Well, it's something that I've been interested in for a while. Um, there were, well, there's quite a few books written about it, but mostly from um, the perspective of uh, Hitler and the Nazis, uh, rather, uh, uh, to me, rather sensational uh, sort of books. And um, generally the attitude towards it is that uh, any sort of encounter between uh, politics and and the occult or mysticism or the esoteric uh, tends to be on the on the right, uh, the far right uh, of the spectrum, and it tends to give um, esotericism or any interest in the occult or occultism uh, a kind of bad uh, a bad reputation from uh, you know from 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 one point of view. And uh, what I wanted to do was to show that uh, while there is that, that's certainly a part of it, that doesn't cover all the bases. Uh, there's actually uh, a progressive, uh, you could call a left or liberal um, uh, sort of uh, connection between uh, politics and the occult. And um, I wanted to show that that was the case. And, and also, another sort of uh, thing that I wanted to point out was that both sides, uh, say the far left and the far right, they actually come together in their detestation of modernity, of, of, of the modern world, both of them uh, abhor uh, modernity, uh, almost for the same reasons. They have very different um, approaches of how to deal with it, but they, they, they seem to meet. So that struck me as a, as a, as a very ironic uh, uh, thing. Well, before we get into the left, right, and their different flavors of the occult, uh -huh. you mentioned Hitler yeah. and the Nazis. And Hitler really did believe that symbols like the SS logo mm -hmm. and the swastika, which was really a sun symbol, which yeah. he adopted and put into a white, red, and black color scheme, did give his political power or his political party power as well as his, his you know, warmongering. Well, I mean, the swastika had been around for quite some time. It's an ancient, ancient um, symbol. It goes back to Neolithic times. Uh, there's cave... Uh, paintings with it and cave etchings, and uh, there's a long-standing myth that um, if it's turned in the clockwise direction, it's good, and if it's turned in the opposite, I forget which it is. But there's, you know, there's two, it, it turns up going both ways, clockwise and, and anti-clockwise. And the myth was that uh, Hitler had taken it the anti-clockwise way, which was the evil way. But that, that, again, that, that's sort of a myth. No, I think Hitler was very astute about uh, the power that symbols and myths uh, have over people and how they can reach down below the, you know, the critical conscious, uh, the conscious mind, and, and sort of just get you, you know, down in your gut. And also, uh, in the Vienna uh, of Hitler's early days, before he became uh, the chancellor of, of, of Germany in, in, in the early 30s, when he was a starving artist in, um, in Vienna, there was uh, a magazine called Astara, if I recall correctly, that was a anti-Semitic, um, anti-Marxist, anti-democratic, you know, pretty much anti-everything, except sort of uh, white... Uh, um, conservative uh, Viennese, um, um, you know, culture, uh, and it used uh, swastika as its symbol. So it's something that was around. I mean, you find it in, in a lot of different contexts, and in many ways, it's uh, uh, a sad thing that it's 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 so completely associated with uh, uh, Hitler and the Nazis now that it's 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 completely unredeemable. Absolutely. I mean, that's what everybody that I know would associate the swastika. With a lot of people don't understand it was used by Native Americans and many other cultures, again, as a sun symbol. When we come back, I want to discuss the right wing flavor of the occult and then get into the left wing flavor, but really how these people don't present themselves to the public as occultists and they really hide their true religion. We'll be back after this. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burma sitting in.